<laughs> oh, <laughs> um, what is up, guys? This is Melo here, uh, recording my makeup phantom deck profile that I wanted to do so uh, so long time ago. No, long time ago. That's the proper way to say. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna try to do it fast because we be having technical problems and uh, we can't really make long videos. Um, anyways, we're gonna start with the basics of the deck. Um, Triple Tether Wolf. Uh, this card and just as many uh, Mecha Phantoms, they have a system build on them, that, which they can be destroyed by card effects or monsters, by battle or anything like that. Uh, while there's a token on the field, since the deck works around tokens, um, he uh, he when he gets normal summon, he uh, special summons a token, and um, you can trigger a token to make him a 25 beat. Uh, then you have your searcher, Mega Raptor. Uh, when a token is special, uh, special summon to your side of the field, he allows you to special summon another one, uh, <clears throat> and then you contribute that token to uh, to search. Uh, Her Herliard, um, he uh, special summons a token when you uh, tribute a token to activate another card effect except this one, and then you contribute that token to um, to special summon from your hand. Pretty good, uh, but don't run him at three; he'll clock your hand. Uh, to Hamstrad, uh, when he fl when he flips some, um, he special summons two tokens, and um, you can tribute one token and uh, bring one Mega Phantom from your graveyard to your um, to to the field. It's like a monster reborn of the deck. Uh, to Wolverine, um, I don't I don't I don't run him at one because I don't want to rely on my uh, five level five synchros on just uh, Orion, so he's pretty good. Uh, also, you can make him a level two if you need to. Um, but yeah, uh, double O line, um, the new support for the deck. Uh, when he's sent to a grave, he special summons a token, and then right away you can banish him and, um, and special summon a Mega Phantom from your hand. Um, pretty good. Uh, but uh, I don't want to run him at two, I don't like to run him at three, I don't want to rely on him for, for my level uh, five synchros. Um, Code Wing is not crucial in the deck, easy target for side outs. Uh, you can, um, when he special summon, you can special summon two tokens, and then also you can um, tribute those two tokens and banish one card from your opponent's side of the field. Like I said, not crucial on the deck. Uh, Debris Dragon for like Scrap Dragon, Stardust, and all that. Uh, easy tar target for side outs too. Uh, really good, it's a tuner. Uh, also for to go for level four exceeds. Um, surprise of the day, Harpy Dancer. Um, Harpy Dancer, what she does, it lets you target an enemy monster, return it to a hand, and let you normal summon again, which means that you can use Tether Wolf's effect twice and and all that. You can go off with that. It opens so many plays. Uh, double maxi uh, for like going like um, Adolches and like other monster other decks that especially summon a lot. Uh, but you can cite them out too. I actually cite them out. Uh, but I just had a duel, so I had to side him in. I uh, want the mathematician. If you want, you can take out one maxi and um, and um, put another copy of mathematician. He works amazing with uh, online, especially when it comes out to open uh, synchro plays. Um, one um, <clears throat> um, tempest. Uh, this guy, I actually thought about signing him out, but um, he actually, it's really good. He's a 24 beater. Uh, he, he helps you when it comes down to like, you don't have nothing in your hand. Uh, double scapegoat, don't run him at three. You don't need that many tokens. You already have a lot of cards that will give you tokens. Uh, but this is just to stall or when you really don't have anything else and this will give you tokens. Uh, limber removal to, you know, like go for game um, when you can. That's basically it. Or and also that wouldn't get destroyed if you have tokens on the field. If you use this on Mega Phantom Monster, so it's really good. Uh, one pot, uh, don't you don't run them out more because it will interfere with especially some of the tokens and all that. It will interfere with plays. Uh, one dark hole, uh, because of timing, only tokens will get destroyed. Your monsters will get destroyed, so it, it harms the other decks more than it does <clears throat> harm you. Uh, triple MC for back row. Um, some decks be having that heavy back row, so you know, get rid of that. Uh, one bottomless, uh, one uh, magical cylinder. Nobody, <clears throat> like nowadays, not even top people run this. Um, it's actually a really good card, but um, maybe you want to change it for a wiretap, uh, get another instead of a magical cylinder. Um, then <clears throat> the torrential, the prison. 
um, mirror force and double air recharge for self-explanatory uh, you know, reasons. Uh, now for my extra deck, uh, Leo, Scrap Dragon, Start the Dragon, Crimson Blader, Armadis, and Ally. I only have two level fives, you might want to give more um, since you have tuners to do that. Um, then you have one Gustamax, the Phantom Fortress, uh, really hard to summon but worth it once you do. Um, Sky Palace, um, Gear Giant, another Gustamax, but you might want to side that out for like a, another copy of Draco Sag or whatever. Uh, Master of Blades, number 11, Draco Sag, and number C9. If you manage to pull him off, it is really hard to summon, but if you manage to pull him off, it's worth it. It's really worth it. Um, and then, you know, you just have my tokens and whatever. I actually wanted to make a Phantom once, but that'll be a later video. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye.